From Kern Government Television, welcome to this week's Kern County Board of Supervisors meeting, originating from the County Administrative Center located at 1115 Truxton Avenue, Bakersfield, California. Kern County's vision is to create and maintain a customer-centered county government designed to garner the confidence, support, and trust of the people we serve. Today's Kern County Board of Supervisors meeting will convene momentarily. Okay, board to reconvene. Uh, roll call please, Madam Clerk. Supervisor Peters. Here. Supervisor Scribner. Here. Supervisor Maggard. Here. Supervisor Couch. Here. Supervisor Perez. Here. Thank you and good afternoon. Welcome to the Tuesday, January 4th, 2021 meeting of the Board of Supervisors. We will begin today's meeting with the flag salute led by our very own Supervisor Mike Maggard. Following the Pledge of Allegiance, please remain standing for a moment of prayer, silence, or meditation, whichever you prefer. Thank you, Mike. The County of Kern has provided notice that as a result of the declared federal, state, and local emergencies due to the COVID-19 pandemic, and in light of the governor's order, this Board of Supervisors meeting is not physically open to the public. Testimony and general public comment are accepted through email or voice message to the clerk of the board prior to today's meeting, and live comments through teleconference will be held during the meeting, should that be necessary. Item number one is public presentations. Madam Clerk, what do we have? Madam Chair, members of the board, we have one member of the public, David Fluhart, who would like to provide comment under public presentations. Mr. Fluhart, if you would unmute your phone by pressing star six, you have two minutes to address the board. Hello? We hear you. Hello? We hear you. Yes. Hello. Good afternoon, board. David Fluhart, Havila, First District. And um, I just wanted to say Happy New Year. Um, last year was pretty tough. And uh, if it wasn't for all the, the opportunity to help people, I'd almost say it wasn't worth waiting six years to be chairman. But um, you know, I, I think there's a lot of good things to happen in the near future. Um, you know, you sit underneath the wall that says, in God we trust, and, uh, um, you know, we'll leave it up to his mysterious ways to make things turn out right and come out good. That's all I got to say, uh, and uh, looking forward to a, a good year. Thank you very much, and, and talk to you to, on uh, agenda item number two. All right, bye. Thank you very much, Mr. Fluhart, and Happy New Year to you. Do we have anything in writing or anyone waiting to speak? No, ma'am, we do not. Okay, excellent. Well, then we're going to move to uh, the reason we are here today. Uh, that is item number two. No pressure to you over there. Uh, the Board of Supervisors reorganization and selection of chairman and vice chairman. I will open nominations now for the election of chairman and vice chairman for 2021. Madam Chair, may I make that motion? Please, Supervisor Maggard. It is my pleasure to nominate Philip Peters, Supervisor Philip Peters, as our new chairman, and uh, Supervisor Leticia Perez, our outgoing chairwoman, as our vice chair. Very good. Uh, Supervisor Maggard, thank you so very much. Greatly appreciate that. We have a motion and a second. Do you accept the nomination? I do. You do, excellent. <laughs> Kathy? I, I didn't hear who seconded the motion. Okay. We have a motion by Supervisor Maggard, and our second is Supervisor Scrivener, are you there? Or Supervisor Couch? Yes, yes, I'll second, thank, thank you. Thank you very much, Supervisor Scrivener made the second. So may we have a roll call vote, please? Supervisor Peters. Aye. Supervisor Scrivener. Aye. Supervisor Maggard. Aye. Supervisor Couch. Sorry, yes. And Supervisor Perez? Yes, happily. And 
<laughs> uh, prior to actually calling the vote as unanimous, we do need to hear from the public, and we have a member of the public who would like to address the board. So prior to calling the final vote, I would like Mr. David Fluhart to unmute his phone by pressing star six. Mr. Fluhart, you may address the board on this item. Hello, board. David Fluhart, Avala, First District. I just wanted to call in and, and um, give my support to Philip Peters for chairman. Uh, hopefully, it's the start of four great years to end with a re-election to a second term. Um, I thank uh, Philip Peters. He's uh, got a good background that's varied from working in the oil fields to uh, you know farming and ranching and hunting and one way or another i think he's a natural good kid takes some risks invest in success and i think simply he'll get it done thank you very much and uh congratulations to to you mr peters thank you thank you very much mr fluhart i would like to remind you that my mentor michael rubio was elected to this body at 26. <laughs> so uh, certainly you have some uh, seniority uh, as it relates to that excellent board member so really Absolutely. though your youthfulness is refreshing uh, and we're excited to all the energy that you're bringing so uh, to mr fluhart's point uh, so graciously <laughs> I would ask that any of my colleagues, uh, Supervisor Couch or Supervisor Scrivener, would, would either of you like to say something at this time before we return to the board? I would like to say something, but I'd like to be there in person when I do it and just congratulate Philip uh, and, and look forward to working with him in the future. Thank you, Supervisor Couch. No comments at this time, Madam Chair. Thank you. Oh. Okay, thank you so much, Supervisor Scrivener. Supervisor Maggard? Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Supervisor Peters, congratulations. I look forward to, uh, to, to working with you, and although you are young and dark-haired at the moment, you'll probably be gray and thinner, <laughs> hair-wise, uh, when, when the time comes. So uh, it did it to me, it'll probably do it to you. But congratulations, and thank you for a good year, Madam Chair. Very good. Oh, thank you, Supervisor Maggard. I appreciate that. Uh, yes, my one of my mentors in Sacramento tells me that leadership ages you in dog years. So I think, uh, you know, Mike has been observing politics for some time. He speaks from wisdom, uh, most certainly. Uh, so we are excited about you, uh, excited to have you uh, be chair if you should accept that nomination. I don't know if you have a few words now. You don't have to, uh, but you could if you'd like to. I just got to turn my mic on. There we go. That'll help. <laughs> I'll get the hang of this eventually. Uh, I just wanted to thank everybody for their kind words, and uh, I wanted to thank the, my uh, fellow board members for their leadership and for um, you know giving me a, a firm place to start out on, and you know for their leadership in getting the county through all the pandemic and all the issues we've been facing thus far. And I wanted to thank Supervisor Perez for her leadership as chairwoman. And uh, I'm very much looking forward to uh, working with you all and uh, learning from you as we go along. And I think it's going to be a good year. Oh, marvelous. Well, you have big shoes to fill in your district, but I am hopeful and optimistic. And you have good folks up here who know a lot. So, uh, you know, we look forward to the partnership. So at this time, uh, we have heard from the public. Kathy, any more comment? No, ma'am. Okay. So we uh, took the vote or do we need to take it? We actually took the vote, and I will call the vote as unanimous. Okay. Uh, so Supervisor Peters is chair for 2021, and you, Supervisor Perez, will serve as vice chair. Thank you very much. That brings us to the end of this meeting. You will move over here, and you will take the gavel. It's a big responsibility and, of course, a huge privilege. Uh, so with uh, no other nominations, we will call the vote as unanimous. Our new chairman will make his way over, and I will entertain a motion to adjourn Mike Maggard uh, until tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., January 5th. So moved. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, nice. Thank you.